Kodai grade 10, this is day 43, lesson 3 of Analytical Geometry, chapter 8. It's the 3rd of June. And um, today we're going to do the second of the three formulas that we're going to do in Analytical Geometry. The second one is the midpoint formula, or the midpoint between two points on a line segment. Okay, so to find the midpoint, I use the following formula. It's on page 191. The midpoint between A and B is XA plus XB over 2 and YA plus YB over 2. Okay, so what I do is I add the two X values and divide it by 2, add the two Y values and, and um, divide it by 2. So that's where A is XA, YA and B is XB, YB. Okay, so those are the coordinates that I use. For example, if I have find the midpoint between A, negative 1, 8 and B, 3, 16. Okay. So I need to find the midpoint between those. Okay, so the midpoint of AB, I write M, A, B, it's a capital letter M. It's important that it's capital because uh, if it's not capital, it means that it's the gradient. So it has to be capital letter M for the midpoint between A and B would be the X value of A plus the X value of B divided by 2 and the y value of a plus the y value of b divided by 2. So I take the x values and add them. So it's going to be negative 1 plus 3 over 2 and 8 plus 16 over 2. And that will give me a coordinate, the new coordinate of the midpoint. So it's going to be 1 and 12 because negative 1 plus 3 is 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 8 plus 16 is 24 divided by 2 is 12. So the point halfway from A to B will be point M and will be at the coordinate 1, 12. Okay, so if I look at that on a Cartesian plane, A and B and halfway between will be M. Okay, then number 2. If C, negative 1, negative 5, is the midpoint between D, X, Y, and E, negative 6, 3, determine X and Y. Okay, so now they are asking it the other way around. What are they asking? They are giving me the midpoint and they are asking me for one of the endpoints. Okay, so if I have C negative 1, negative 5, the midpoint, then I have the point at the end E negative 6, negative 3, and somewhere point D will be on the other end. Okay, and I need to find point D. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to write down the formula. I know what the midpoint is. The midpoint is negative 1, negative 5. And that would be the x value of d plus the x value of e divided by 2, and the y value of d plus the y value of e divided by 2. Okay, so I have the x value of d, which is x, minus 6, the x value of e, divided by 2, and y minus 3 over 2 because those are the values of the y's. Now this negative 1 is the answer for this first coordinate. So I can say negative 1 is equal to x minus 6 over 2. Okay, And in the same way this negative 5 must be equal to the y part of the coordinate. So negative 5 is equal to y minus 3 over 2. Okay, so it's going to be, I'm going to first multiply by 2 on the other side, so it's going to be negative 2 is equal to x minus 6 
so x is equal to 4. Then I multiply by 2 for the y's and I get negative 10 is equal to y minus 3. The 3 goes over, it gets added, so it's going to be negative 7 is equal to y. So then my point D would be 4 and negative 7. Alright, and those are the two ways that they ask the midpoint. Okay, there are more ways to uh, that they ask it indirectly, but those are the two methods that you are um, supposed to know. Now, next, you're going to do exercise 2 on page 193, number A, C, 1 and 2 and D. Okay, so press pause, do that now, and then after you've done it, you just press play again and we mark the exercise together. Okay, welcome back. This is exercise 2 on page 192. This is the memo of that. Okay, so th first they are asking us to determine the midpoints of the following line segments. So, first I'm going to uh, determine the midpoint of CD. So follow my highlighter. To determine the midpoint of CD, I'm going to have XC plus XD divided by 2 and the Y values added divided by 2. The x values are negative 5 and negative 1 divided by 2 and the y values are 1 plus 3 divided by 2. Negative 5 minus another one is negative 6 divided by 2 and 1 plus 3 is 4 divided by 2. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3 and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So the midpoint between c and d would be negative 3, 2. Then the midpoint of a, b. It's the x values added and divided by 2 and the y values added divided by 2. So that is 2 plus 6 divided by 2 which is 8 divided by 2. That gives me 4 and 3 plus 1 divided by 2 which is 4 plus 4 divided by 2 which is 2. Then the midpoint of EF. Okay, it is the x values added and divided by 2 and the y values added and divided by 2. It's negative 5 plus 2 divided by 2 and negative 2 plus 1 divided by 2. Negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3 over 2 and negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 over 2. Then the midpoint of GH is the x values added and divided by 2 and the y values added and divided by 2. The x values are 1 and 5 so 1 plus 5 is 6 divided by 2 gives me 3. The y values are negative 1 and negative 4, so minus 1 minus 4 is negative 5 over 2. Don't be afraid of fractions in the answer, that's okay. Right, next I have number C. So let's quickly read the question together. The question says, answer the following questions. You may want to draw a diagram to help you visualize the scenario. Okay, so we are definitely going to draw a uh, diagram. It doesn't necessarily even have to be on a Cartesian plane. You can just draw it roughly. So number one says, if M is the midpoint of a line segment, okay, so there's a line segment and they have the point M, negative 3, 2 in the middle, um, joining the points A, X, 1, and b negative 1 y calculate the values of x and y okay so this is the one where they give me the midpoint so i'm going to say the midpoint is negative 3 2 then i add the x values x plus minus 1 and divided by 2 and i add the y values 1 plus y divided by 2 now i know from the example that this x coordinate I put equal to everything that I have there for the x coordinate and this y coordinate I can put equal to everything that I have there for the y coordinate. So I do that, I say negative 3 is equal to x plus 1 over 2 and 2 is equal to 1 plus y over 2. 
First I multiply by 2 on the other side and I get negative 6 is equal to x minus 1. The minus 1 goes over, it becomes positive 1, so it's negative 5 is equal to x. So x is equal to negative 5. Then for the y's I multiply by 2, so I get 4 is equal to 1 plus y, and the y gets subtracted on the other side, 1, the 1 gets subtracted on the other side, so it becomes y is equal to 3. Then number 2, let's read number 2 and draw a picture. If m negative 1, 7, m negative 1, 7 is the midpoint of the line segment joining the points A, X, 6 and B to Y, calculate the values of X and Y. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do the same. I'm going to put in the place of the midpoint, I'm going to put the midpoint that they gave me, negative 1, 7. Add the x values, x plus 2, divided by 2. Add the y values, 6 plus y, and divided by 2. So now I can put all the x values equal to one another and the y values equal to one another. So it's going to be negative 1 is equal to x plus 2 over 2, and 7 is equal to 6 plus y over 2. First I multiply by 2 on the other side and I get negative 2 is equal to x plus 2. And the 2 goes over, it becomes minus 2 to get the x alone. So it becomes negative 4 is equal to x or x is equal to negative 4. Then also on the, on the side of the y's, I'm going to multiply by 2 on the other side and I get 14 is equal to 6 plus y. The 6 gets subtracted on the other side and I get 8 is equal to y or y is equal to 8. And that's it for number C. Then number D it says Q is the midpoint of both E. Okay, so let's quickly just go back to the question. The question says, given below is rhombus F, I, N, E. Q is the point where the diagonals intersect. Determine the coordinates of F. Okay, so I know that the diagonals of a rhombus dissect bisect one another, bisect, which means they divide one another in half. And that means that this point Q is the midpoint of both EI and of FN. Okay, so that is the midpoint. So let's write that down. That's what I'm, um, I wrote here. Q is the midpoint of both EI and FN because the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other. Okay. Right, now, first I'm going to go to the line EI. Okay. And I'm going to find the midpoint of EI so that I can find Q. Okay, so when I want to find the midpoint of EI, I add the x values divided by 2, add the y values added by two, oh, divided by 2. So that's, that's it, 3 plus 1 divided by 2, and 4 minus 2 divided by 2 gives me the point Q is 2, 1. 2, 1. Okay, so I'll write that down on the sketch. Now, I am going to take this line that I marked with yellow, Fn. I already know the midpoint of Fn. So let's say the coordinates of F are x of F and y F. Okay, now that's what I need to find. So I can just substitute in the midpoint is 2, 1, because I already know the midpoint. Then I add the x values, x, F plus 8, divided by 2. And I add the y values, yf plus negative 1, and divide that by 2. Now I have the x values that I can set equal to one another, and the y values that I can set equal to one another. The x values are 2 is equal to xf plus 8 over 2, and y values are 1 is equal to yf minus 1 over 2. First I multiply by 2 on the other side, and I get 4 is equal to 8, 
xf plus 8. I have minus 8 on the other side and I get xf is equal to negative 4. For the y values, I also multiply by 2 on the other side. I get 2 is equal to yf minus 1. The minus 1 goes over, it becomes positive 1, so yf is equal to 3. Now these are my coordinates for f. It's going to be f, negative 4, and 3. And that's it for today. If you have any questions, email your teacher.